Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. So excited that you showed up the channel today. This is our channel all about QuickBooks point of sale and helping you, the store owner, make sure that you know how to use point of sale to the best of your ability and make your retail endeavor excellent year after year. So today in QuickBooks point of sale, we're gonna talk about something that happens from time to time and this would just be due to inflation and what have you and that is how you would update your cost and price on cert certain items, <laughs> excuse me. Before we jump into that, go ahead and click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can join up and just ask questions about errors or workflows or training or request a video for this channel. We look forward to seeing you in the community for some great discussions. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe today so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time. All right, so updating your cost and price on items because from time to time, your vendors will actually up their prices. Now, the first thing I will mention is that when you are receiving your products into your store, uh, if you put in a new cost on the receiving voucher, it will actually automatically update the cost or order cost in your item. So keep that in mind. You can do that on a case by case basis where obviously if you ordered something or did a purchase order for something uh, and the cost was different than last time, well, it'll automatically get received on the receiving voucher with that new cost that will update your cost on your item. But some people uh, may get a new catalog from their vendor or they might look at the website of their vendor and notice that prices from their vendor have gone up or maybe they've gone down. That would be wonderful. And so they may just wanna open up their item list and whether they want to pare it down with filters to a certain vendor or just take a look at the products that they are interested in you can come here on your item list and uh, you can peruse all of the different columns. I have cost and regular price right next to each other. If you need to add or remove columns, you can right click. If you need to reorder your columns, you can drag them around. Or you can just highlight one item and hit show details. And you can take a look at your regular price here and your order cost up here. Now editing these is pretty simple. You're just gonna hit the edit button in the upper right. It's gonna bring up the item in the main middle window here. And let's say that this particular item's cost has actually gone up to 550. And I don't know why this was priced uh, below cost. That would probably make you lose money, I think. So if the order cost is 550, I think we're gonna sell this for 799. And that is how you can update your order cost and regular price and hit save. Now, if you're doing this for a particular department or vendor, like I said, real quick, let's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just do, wonder if I have some vendors in here, let's see. I'm gonna head on down to vendor. Where are you? Sorry, this is taking a moment. Oh, I know it's in here somewhere. There it is, vendor name. I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna do Bob's Flower Emporium. Hit okay, hit apply. And now I will, oh, apparently we haven't received anything from Bob's Flower Emporium. Let me change that real quick. Vendor name, we want to do, let's do sweet merch. Okay, and we are going to apply. All right, now we've got all the items from sweet merch. And if you'd like to, if you're going through the catalog from sweet merch or whoever your vendor is, you could actually just go ahead and double click on each one. 
We're gonna update this one to 250, and the price is gonna head up then to uh, 499, and you can double click on the next one, 730, and we're gonna head up to uh, 1199. And so you see, you can just go ahead and keep double clicking on cost and price and update it very easily that way. So that is a quick way you can update cost and price. I'm gonna head back to the home screen now. There's one more place where you can actually do a mass update of pricing. Unfortunately, you cannot mass update the cost there. And that would be uh, under the inventory menu in price manager. If you click on the button that says make price changes, then you can choose the price level, probably regular and you can update everything on that price level or you can use filters to just do it for a certain vendor. But you can do them all at one time. I don't think this is gonna come in play too much because usually what you do here is you do it by a certain percentage or adding a certain dollar amount. I don't think that's going to be the same across the board when you're looking at a new price update from your vendor. I just thought I'd mention that this is an area where you can do a price update, but if we're just talking about updating prices according to what our vendor is feeding us, that might not come so in handy. So the item list is going to be your main place when you update the cost and the price when your vendor makes changes. All right, my name is Peter with BlackRock Business. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. And if this video was useful for you, go ahead and smash that like button. You have yourself a good day now. Bye-bye.